I am pretty sure that you know what this is because this is a bit exotic. It's not very local as uh, I might think. This is very common. I hope you know this. This is um, it's called aloe vera, yeah. It's aloe vera. So I don't know if you've seen this before, but I have a feeling at least you know this because it's a bit very common, yeah. So it has a lot of uses, but among the many uses, for us we use it as medicine for chicken, yeah. So I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how you guys use this. Some people use this for facials. Some people use it. I don't know for any other kind of medication. But one of the uses that I know is um. It's medicine for chicken, yeah? So guys, I want to treat our chicken today. Yeah, I've actually been treating it for some... Yeah, this is going to be the third time I'm giving it, yeah? So at least I can see improvement because it has been acting weird, a bit weak and all that. And then guess what? They're on free rent system. So the only good time to get them is either very early in the morning before they leave their house or late in the evening like this. It's already 6 at, at my village right now what time is it where you are right now please let me know as well guys so the only way to get this chicken is in the evenings because they're almost coming back and they're actually loitering around i don't know if you're able to see them they're just at my background some of them are already there loitering coming back home so that is the right time to get them it's very easy meanwhile the easiest time actually would be at night but it's going to be dark so you wouldn't be able to see what i'm going to do so guys let me soak this here i want to show you how to treat chicken in case you have this maybe and your chicken is sick or is feeling weak please do this you're going to see improvement so you pluck this fresh yeah? so you peel off this you know the sap that comes out of this thing eh? I'm just going to leave it inside here to soak So just add fresh clean water. This is water, pure water. And you leave it to soak, yeah? So let's go get the chicken as the aloe vera is here soaking, yeah? Come with me. So what happens is in the morning this chicken just gets out and they feed on their own, yeah? Sometimes when I have some grains maybe in the house like millet, sorghum, maize or even rice, anything that I have in the house that maybe I can give them, I always pour on the compounds. But if those ones are done, what they do is they move around like the way you're seeing. So as you can see, they're actually looking for their feeds. So let's try to catch one. We are going to get them one by one, yeah? this it wasn't easy <laughs> so guys I'm going to keep them here and then go chase more This one is a stubborn one. <laughs> Guys, 
guess what? I just got done cutting all the chicken. Guys, oh, my breath has actually changed. <laughs> I ran like nothing. I'm actually thirsty. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start picking them out one by one. The one which I've given the, um, the, the water, the, the, the medicated water, I let it out so it can go, yeah? So it can go where it sleeps. So some of them sleep on the tree, some of them sleep in the house, so they'll go wherever they can go. Meanwhile, there is this mother hen. Oh my God, it is very tough. <laughs> it's for being careful. Nice. Just got one here. So this is what happens. best is to sit down actually it's more comfortable so you open the mouth of the chicken like this So guys, after pouring it, eh, you release the beak, make sure it first swallows, you see, then you can open again. Like that, I think you can notice it's, it's swallowing, eh? Oh, alright. Good night! <laughs> Good night, go and sleep. is very satisfied guys just check this oh my god <laughs> it has over eaten today so guys this is just how we do it right here i don't know how you people treat your chicken or you only buy uh, medicine sold at the veterinary shops or whatever but for us we have options like this because we have a lot of herbs around us here yeah? so this is how we use nature purposefully without just slashing it off or throwing it in trash or something Guys, I just needed to share this with you. I hope you've learned something. Please, let me also learn something. How you guys use your aloe vera the better way. Or maybe if there's any other way, like I told you, I don't know. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. If you this is your very, very, very first video, guys, please, are you subscribed yet? I mean, if not, what are you even waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe, guys. You have a lot to learn with me here. Because, oh, my environment has a lot that you've never seen before, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I am still your girl, Eunice. Let me treat my chicken. Bye-bye. <laughs>